Hi everybody, welcome to All In Our Technology. I'm here today in China, uh, in Zhuhai. Um, All In Our is a technology company whose core technology is microprocessors. They license uh, that technology from ARM and we make a range of multi-core and sort of single-core processors. Uh, so here we, I have a PCB and on this PCB you can see one of All Winner's V-series processors. So this would be used in something like a video camera or some kind of security device or video device. Uh, and in front of me, as you can see, we have some other products that feature our processors. Uh, most of the processors go into consumer electronics, uh, things that you're probably familiar with. Even though you might not be familiar with All Winner, uh, you might be familiar with some of our products. So as you can see on the left hand side here, I have a tablet device. This has our A83T optical processor. Uh, and next to that we have the A64 tablet. Uh, this is a new product, it's currently on Kickstarter. This is using a quad-core 64-bit processor. Uh, here we have sort of a lower end A33 quad-core processor. And finally we have our H8 processor. Uh, and this is in quite an interesting device. So you don't need a mobile phone, you don't need a computer. Uh, all the technology is built into this headset. So through this video, uh, one by one, I'm just going to go through these products, uh, talk about them a little bit, uh, and help show you what All Winner does uh, and how our technology makes a difference uh, in the technology industry. Here we have a laptop device. This is made by a company called Aspen. Uh, All Winner doesn't actually make products, we just make the processor that goes inside these products. Uh, we have a number of sort of partners, uh, design houses, manufacturers, and we work with them to build products, to help companies build their products. So that's sort of part of the reason we're called All Winner. Uh, the idea is that we work with many technology companies and that we bring our technology together and everybody benefits, not just us, but also customers and consumers. Uh, so this is a very good example here of just how far the Shenzhen and Guangzhou ecosystem has come, that you can build a device like this. Um, <clears throat> so if you have a, a quick look at the, the laptop, uh, it's quite a nice design here, um, it's quite a, a slim laptop, kind of similar to like a MacBook Air, uh, although the build quality is not as good as a MacBook Air, but this laptop costs $69, uh, which is unbelievable value, uh, and in here is a 64-bit processor, uh, a quad-core processor, um, and this processor is a very efficient processor, uh, and it can help build devices like this. So. For $69, I think this is really unbelievable. Uh, it has dual speakers on the bottom. It uses a Remix OS. So maybe you're not familiar with Remix OS. Uh, it's not like Windows, it's more like a, a mobile OS. Um, so I think a lot of people today are becoming more and more familiar using mobile OSs. Most of us use our smartphones. Most of us use tablet devices. Uh, so sort of Android, um, iOS, these tend to be the platforms that we use every day. Uh, a lot of us are sort of gravitating away from Windows. So maybe the future is devices like this with sort of lightweight OSs. So let's say you want to surf the internet, do some light word processing. Uh, this laptop supports WPS, um, which is similar to Microsoft uh, Office. Uh, you can do all of those things on this device. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you the device one more time. Uh, like I say, it's a very nice device. It's quite a light device. It's sort of reasonably solid. Uh, it is plastic, it's not steel. Okay, so I'll show you some of the, the features on this device. Um, so you can have a look at the operating system. So with Remix OS, it's a similar layout to what, what you're used to with Windows. Uh, you have your icons on the left hand side. Here you have something similar to the, the Windows button. So if I click on here, uh, you can see my apps. Uh, this very sort of familiar sort of mobile phone feel to it. Um, but it's quite snappy, it's quite fast. If I, if I want to open up Gmail, uh, here I can go straight into Gmail. Uh, I don't have to wait too long. Uh, also, if I close the program, it's fairly responsive. Uh, so th this is quite a nice, like I say, lightweight OS. Uh, just for people who don't want to do too much with their laptop. Uh, they just want to do some, I don't know, maybe some schoolwork, uh, or just writing some essays. Uh, maybe you want to do some research or, or go on YouTube then this kind of device is perfect for that. Um, as you can see, it's, it's quite a, a thin laptop. 
the design is quite nice. You can see here it has some one USB port here, uh, another USB port there, uh, a micro SD slot uh, for expandable memory, uh, and here's the charging port and just a mini HDMI out there. So if you're interested in this product uh, and you'd like to buy this product, you can support Aspen's uh, project on Kickstarter. So for $69, this laptop comes with 16 gig of memory built inside uh, and one gig of DRAM. So maybe we'll include the, the link to the Kickstarter project at the bottom of this video. So like I said before, if you want to buy the video, you can click on that link uh, and check out Aspen on Kickstarter and help support our community, help support companies building products using all winner technology. Okay, so before we end the video, we'll just go through the products one more time. So we started off with the A83T tablet device, uh, and then we went on to talk about the Aspen $69 laptop, uh, and that had our E64 processor. Like I say, this product is now available to support on Kickstarter if you are interested in the laptop device. Uh, and then we went on to talk about the E33 tablet device, which was a quad-core device, uh, a little bit lower performance, lower cost device than the A83T. Uh, and as you can see, it, it's a lot smaller, it's a lot more compact. Uh, maybe, personally, I prefer the build quality of this device. It, it feels quite nice, it feels quite solid. Uh, but again, this is a very sort of low-cost device here. Uh, and the final device that we looked at was the, the VR headset which was, like I say, quite an exciting device. Uh, this is the uh, sort of first available commercial VR headset. Um, so that gives you some idea of the products that we have at All Winner. Like I say, we don't make these products, but it's our technology that powers these products. Uh, so I hope in the future that I can show you more products coming out of Guangzhou, coming out of Shenzhen. Uh, and it gives you a little bit of an insight into the technology industry in China uh, and, and sort of shows you where it's at and where products are going. Uh, obviously the quality is getting much, much better. Uh, the features are becoming much, much better. Um, so I think it's an exciting future here in China uh, and at All Winner. So I hope to see you again. Thank you.